Do not wash this bear by Sam Hay and Nick East. My daddy is not very good at doing the washing. He makes my t-shirts titchy. He turns my vests pink. And he disappears my socks. So when he wanted to wash Bear, I cried, No! But daddy didn't listen. Bear smells, he said. Bear is muddy and grubby and needs a clean. Wait, I said, and I showed Daddy the label under Bear's bottom. Do not wash this bear. But Daddy still didn't listen. He popped Bear in the washing machine. Bear whizzed and whirled, round and round, soapy and sloshy foamy and frothy. Then Daddy opened the door. Oh no! Washing Bear was a big mistake! Bear was different. He waved at me. He winked at me. He blew a raspberry. Look, Daddy! I yelled, but Daddy was too busy looking for lost socks to see what Bear was up to. Suddenly, Bear jumped out of the wash basket and ran up the stairs. Stop! I said, but Bear didn't listen. He bounced into the bathroom and started making bubbles. Big bubbles. Stop! I shouted, but Bear didn't listen. He ran into my bedroom and made it snow. Too much snow. Stop! Achoo! I sneezed, but Bear didn't listen. Bear roly pollied down the hall jumped on the cat, and took off down the stairs. Stop that bear, I hollered. But Daddy had so much washing, he couldn't see what bear was up to. Crash! Just then, the front door opened. Mommy! I cried. Mommy looked at bear. Then she looked at Daddy, and she shook her head. You should have read the label, she said. Do not wash this bear. Mommy grabbed Bear by the ears and carried him, kicking and grumbling, out to the garden and pegged him on the line to dry. Very soon, Bear was back to his old self again. Daddy said Bear smelled better now. But then he picked up Rabbit. Poo-wee, Daddy said. Rabbit needs a wash. No! I shouted as I pointed to the label. Do not wash this rabbit! The end. Hi, everybody. If you like this video, subscribe here for more. Bye.